Well, welcome back to Scouting for History, and today is a brand new permission. Now, you know you go around and you knock on doors, so you get a lot of no's. But you get some yeses too. And uh, this house here, the people were very nice. They said, sure, come on over. They invited me in, have some breakfast, talked about the house. Real nice people. Uh, but uh, they knew me from around town. And if you don't know about that, I'll, I'll put a link in the description box below to my uh, video on how I get my permissions. And that's that's how they knew about me. But uh, So let's see what we can find at this house from 1902. Stand by. And the first signal of the day is a wheat penny. On to the next. Now there's something you don't find every day. It's a live bullet. On to the next. And now about six inches deep, piece of a pocket knife. It was a squirrely signal. There's some iron still on it, but brass, it sounded pretty good. On to the next. A nice Indian signal here. It might be a zinc penny. Just a little bit of aluminum. A nice signal here too. It's just a memorial, a copper memorial, but still a memorial. This is why I don't do too many live digs. <laughs> On to the next. I don't care what the groundhog says. This is a sign of spring. When the crocuses come out, it's time for spring. Beautiful day. On to the next. Well, the first interesting relic, it's a two-piece button. It looks like a band button. It's got a band symbol on the front. That's cool. On to the next. Well, after a couple of uh, unsuccessful live digs, I didn't turn on the camera for this one. And it's a silver rosy. It's silver. I'll take it. On to the next. Another good high tone here. There's a wheat penny right there. 
and this is giving me a signal like a uh, like a silver dime but it's not there's a wheat penny well there was something else down there a nasty zinc penny on to the next well right here I had a wheat penny and then right here I was getting a nice silver dime signal but of course it's not it's an aluminum nail yikes on to the next well a nice deep signal and it's a Washington 42 on to the next Well, after digging up this quarter, I thought I turned the camera off, <laughs> but apparently I didn't. And I wandered around the yard, digging up trash and signals and things, talking to the homeowner for about uh, 15, 16 minutes. It's a clip of me wandering around the yard. But when I got a really good high tone, a 54 on the legend uh, screamer, um, I didn't turn the camera on or well it was already on because I thought it was just going to be another piece of aluminum or uh, trash or something like that but when I flipped the plug and saw what it was I tried to turn on the camera <laughs> I actually turned it off so you didn't get to see me dig it but later on luckily I turned on the camera to get a good thumbnail of the find so what it was was a uh, 1942 walking liberty half dollar so you never know sometimes those trashy signals are good on to the next well for a minute i thought i was going to go a whole day without finding a buckle <laughs> there it is on to the next here by the curb I dug a few pieces of trash but now that's that's not trash <laughs> ah, it's just a rosy <laughs> that's okay I'll take it it's silver on to the next working my way along the curb strip well, the front is really crusty, but the back, wow, that'll clean up nice at the back anyway. It's a war nickel. You can tell by the Philadelphia mint mark above Monticello. And even though we call these things nickels, there's absolutely zero nickel in them. It's uh, silver, copper, manganese, and the manganese in it is why it gets this horrible crud all over it. It's the manganese leaching out. There we go. Oh no, it'll still clean up pretty nice. 1944P. Awesome. On to the next. Well, a nice high tone here. That can't be it. It's a, it's a clad dime. Uh, it was ringing up like a quarter. On to the next. There must be something else in the hole because that silver dime was ringing up in the low 40s. And usually they're around 48, 49, high 40s. But another silver for the day. Awesome. On to the next. And of course, down by the curb, you find lead wheel weights. Lots of them. On to the next. Well, that's going to do it for today's adventure. Not too bad. I put a serious dent in my silver drought. Uh, always good to get a couple silvers for the day. Too bad I didn't find any more old stuff, but 
I'll take a pocket of silver coins any day. On to the next. Don't forget, hit like and subscribe. We'll see you then.